What makes a good recipe for outdoor cooking? And who is the Chef Corso guy anyway? Well, come along because we're gonna talk about how to create fast, easy, and tasty recipes for outdoor cooking that actually work, that help complement your experience, and a little bit more about me, Chef Corso, and Monty Boca, and how we're elevating your meals for any of your outdoor adventures coming up. Heyo, welcome back to the woods. We're here in Olympic National Park and we're gonna talk a little bit more about creating great recipes for outdoor cooking, a little bit more about me and what makes Monte Boca different from all the other recipe resources out there. But the first question I always get is, are you a real chef? And yeah, I am a real chef. I went to culinary school in Napa Valley in Northern Italy. I've been cooking my whole life. I love food, I love cooking, and I love sharing whether that's inside or outside but I am a classically trained chef and I've been in the food industry for over 20 years. But most of my experience has been in test kitchens or training culinary teams. So I was a research chef for multiple years, testing ice cream, salad dressings, alcohols, beers, all kinds of stuff. My office was a test kitchen and I had an ice cream maker right by my desk. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. But part of my other experience is head chef for a restaurant group in Seattle, Washington, as well as working for a large coffee company that you may have heard of training their culinary teams. I would much rather be cooking and sharing meals outdoors rather than cooped up in a kitchen. What style of chef are you? Well, my style is pretty straightforward. I don't like things that are super fancy. When I'm cooking inside, it's usually focused on really good seasonal vegetables, homemade salad dressings and sauces, soups and stews. Braises are my absolute favorite. The low and slow cooking is so, so good and so, so satisfying, but usually focused on, but usually there's a lot of salads, a lot of fresh veggies, roasted chickens, those type of things. So for me, I'm not fancy at all. I just like really nice flavor and really nice fresh ingredients. Where am I from? Well, I'm from here. And this is Port Angeles, Washington. And I grew up mostly here. But the funny thing about it, this is the Olympic National Park, like pretty much all right here. And I didn't really, go out into it very much. My family wasn't really big into backpacking or camping really at all. We would go on some short day hikes, but that was about it. But it took me a while to really enjoy going out on longer treks and longer hikes. And I lived in Seattle for about 10 or 12 years and really enjoyed exploring the North Cascades, more of the Olympic National Park, and also Mount Rainier National Park. But there's just a bunch of beautiful things in the great northwest but as i went out on my trips i noticed that the food options were, were pretty lacking and most of them were out of a bag dry salty oatmeal jerky and other stuff and as a chef i was like well i feel like we can do better so the idea for monte boca was was planted on a few of those trips with my friends in kind of my my, my mid-20s but I started and tested recipes outdoors to see if we can all elevate our meals and have food be a better part and a nice complement to our outdoor treks. But there are significant challenges to cooking outdoors, whether that's how much weight you're carrying, how much volume it's taken up in your pack, the ease of preparation at home or on the trail, dietary restrictions, also trying to find some of these special ingredients or having to dehydrate your to me, all of those are challenges in order to create a good meal outdoors, but they are not insurmountable. But that's where I started first, thinking about all those challenges in order to create fast, easy, and tasty recipes for outdoor cooking. So all of our recipes start with 10 ingredients or less, ready in 30 minutes or less, no pre-prep, no dehydrating. I don't want you to spend all day dehydrating your kitchen. I want you to get outside and enjoy pretty stuff like this. But also, as I started testing more recipes, I noticed that a lot of you out there do have a specific dietary restriction that is challenging in order to meal plan on the trail. So my goal for the Monte Boca Recipe Bank is that we have something tasty for every belly and for every trip. The other thing that's important about creating recipes for outdoor cooking is that they all needed to be tested outside. They need to be tested on rocks, stumps, in the rain, in the snow, under adverse conditions, at elevation, to make sure they actually work for our outdoor trips. But a little more about that later.
The recipe size was also really, really important to me. I really wanted to make the recipes be able to fit onto your smartphone or into your pocket. And luckily, they're the same size. But besides the size and the format of each recipe, I wanted to put as much helpful information on each recipe card. So each recipe has multiple attributes that can be helpful for your trip. We have serving size, time for each recipe, how many ingredients are, are in the recipe, weight for the whole recipe, as well as weight per portion minus water, straightforward, easy steps, because you do not need to be reading a novel when you're on the trail. Some helpful tips along the way if you want to do some nice additions or some fun facts. And lastly, who tested the recipe? One thing that makes us different is that all the recipes you see online or in the cookbooks are tested by you guys out there. They are tested by the Monte Boca community. They go out, take a recipe, test it, make sure it works, and send it back to me and we upload it to the community recipe bank so we can all enjoy this whole outdoor cooking thing and elevate our meals. But currently we have over 200 trail tested recipes with all kinds of different styles of trips, dietary restrictions, flavor profiles. My goal is that there is a recipe for every one of you out there and every style of trip that we could all go on. And the other thing about our cookbooks is we give back $2 for each cookbook sold online to help community projects, to help protect public lands, so we can all continue to enjoy the trails, the peaks, the valleys, the lakes, all the things outdoors. And some of you out there have experienced this before, but I also teach virtual or in-person workshops which is frankly the most fun about this whole Monte Boca thing is teaching you how to cook, but teaching you how to cook together and sharing a great bowl, whether that's virtually on your porch or in your backyard or at a local park around the country. So stay tuned to the website because we'll be adding a whole lot more dates for 2022. Rapid fire Corso nuggets, let's go. Favorite food, potatoes, specifically baked. Epic outdoor trip that I wanna go on. I hit up the Patagonia a few years ago, but now it's the Dolomites in Northern Italy. Favorite trail meal that I like to make? Mm, something with grits or polenta, specifically bacon cheddar grits. It's super packable, lightweight, super filling, so yummy and tasty. That's what I'm, that's what I'm cooking on the trail right now. Worst meal that I've ever cooked on the trail? Ooh, yeah, I mean, I've tried to make like biscuit mix or like pancake mix into a porridge before, but it, it was definitely edible. But man, it was really not that tasty or not that satisfying. Any of that like baking on a camp stove, it, it doesn't really work that well. Sure, you could steam bake, but sometimes it's just not that worth it. But I also really like doing this. Boca, boca! We've been talking about recipes, we've been talking about cooking, but all of this is really about sharing. It's about sharing of a great meal with your friends at a beautiful location. Because when you put great people, a great trip, and a great meal together, magic happens. And that's what I absolutely love. I love having a great meal by a lake on a ridge and have it actually be memorable rather than just an afterthought. But all this being said, I'm here to help. If you have a question about any of our recipes, any of our cookbooks or meal plans, I want you to email me. Yeah, email me at this address here down below. Mm, yep, I think that's it. <laughs> it will be me that's replying to you. It might take me a couple days to get back to you because I'm uh, you know, out in the bushes doing something. But if you have a question, I'm here to help. If you have a dietary restriction, a really long haul hike that you're planning for, you just don't know what to do, but hit me up because I want you to eat well wherever you're going. Doesn't matter if it's a short trip or long trip. But again, it's all about getting out there, eating well and sharing of that great tasty experience. So get out there, cook somewhere awesome. Boca Boca.